some transformations look very linear. But when you try to prove they are linear, you run into trouble because they are not in fact. That is because linearity is actually quite a strong constraint. In this video, we will see a few properties of linear transformations which will allow you to see straight away that some transformations are not linear, even though they may appear linear. So here we have our three properties. T of minus V equals minus the T of V, the T of U minus V equals the T of U minus T of V, and the T of zero equals the T of T equals zero. So why are these properties true? Well, first look at the first property. We know that T of C times U equals C times T of U. And we can choose any scalar C we like. So if we choose C equals minus one, we get exactly property one. So that's why we know that property one is true. What about property two? Well, the T of U minus V equals the T of U plus the factor minus V. And we know that the T of uh, U plus something equals the T of U plus the T of something. So that's what we do over here. So the T of U plus minus V equals the T of U plus the T of minus V. And then you apply property one, you can take the minus in front, and we have property two. So there we are. T of U minus V equals the T of U minus T of V. And uh, property three, well, you can see that in a number of ways, but one option is, for example, to uh, use um, V equals U and property two. Then you get the T of U minus U equals zero equals the T of U minus T of U equals zero. So T of zero equals zero. So there we have our three properties. And we can use those to see straight away that some transformations are not linear. Uh, look, for example, at the transformation from P2 to P2, which is given by uh, adding one to a polynomial. Well, that doesn't do much, right? You just add one to any function. But this transformation is not a linear transformation, because what happens if you compute the T of zero, well, the T of zero equals zero plus one equals one. So the T of zero is not equal to zero, so T is not linear, even though it may appear linear. And the second example, which also appears to be very linear, uh, again from P2 to P2, uh, take an arbitrary polynomial in P2, say A plus BT, then we define the image of A plus BT as absolute value of B plus A times T. Again, looks very easy. But what happens if we compute the image of t and the uh, image of uh, minus t? Well, the, t the image of t, that means that we take a equals 0 and b equals 1. So the image of uh, t is just 1 from here. And the image of minus t, then we take a 0 and b minus 1. So the image of minus t equals minus 1 absolute value equals 1. So what we see that is that the image of minus t is not the same as minus the image of t, which was required for linear transformation. So also, this transformation is not linear. So some natural properties, which you can use to see immediately uh, that the transformation is not a linear transformation.